This video demonstrates a comprehensive physical examination for vascular surgery patients. The complete examination is best done with a patient laying down either in a stretcher or an exam bed. Initially is to take a good look at the feet, look in between the toes, at the heels, for any skin lesions. Next, a palpation for the pulses, both dorsalis pedis and posterior tibialis. A Doppler examination is also important to make sure you're not being deceived by feeling your own pulses. Dorsalis pedis is often most easily identified at the anterior ankle. And then the normal location on the dorsum of the foot over the second metatarsal. And also important to listen for flow down by the toes. If challenges in finding the signal there, you can move the probe laterally and medially in that space. Similarly, if problems finding the posterior tibialis, you can move in between the medial malleus and the Achilles tendon to identify the artery. Next palpation for the popliteal pulses. You need some patience here to depress in the area with your fingers. Hold there for a second until you feel the pulses. A general estimate of how big the calves are looking for swelling can be done by simply looking at how your fingers overlap as you examine both sides. Examination of the femoral pulse is important and to be done bilaterally to compare. Auscultation for bruise can be reflective of stenosis or disease or the presence of fistulas. Auscultation over the abdomen for bruise can be rapidly achieved. And a simple palpation for obvious masses. Next, an examination over the heart. listening over both sides of the sternum, and next listening to the lung. Lastly, listening for carotid bruise with the patient doing a breath hold. And then palpation for any masses in the neck or periclavicular region. Again, inspection of the hands for any lesions and palpation of radial pulses. This completes a comprehensive physical exam for the vascular surgery patient.